We're trying to work out the equation of the line L that's a tangent to the line Y equals the square root of X when X is 4. So tangent is Y equals MX plus C. To work out the gradient, I'm going to differentiate to find the gradient function. So we know that y is equal to root x. To differentiate that, write it as x to the power of a half. Differentiating that to get the gradient function, we're going to times by one half, and then take one away from the power. So a half, take away one, is minus one half. So that's my gradient function. And I'm going to use that to work out the gradient of the curve when x is 4. So if I substitute that in, dy by dx is a half times 4 to the power of minus 1 half. Well, the 4 to the power of a half, that's the square root of 4, which is 2. And then the minus means that it's going to be 1 over 2. Times by the 1 half, so a half times a half is a quarter. So that's the gradient of the curve at that point, and therefore also the gradient of the tangent at that point. So I'm going to say y equals 1 quarter x plus c. To work out the plus c, I need to know the coordinate of the point p. I know its x coordinate is 4. I don't know its y coordinate yet but I can work it out by substituting 4 into the equation. The square root of 4 is 2. So I know x is 4 when y is 2. So plugging that into my equation here, I find that c is 1. Therefore, the equation of my tangent is y equals 1 quarter x plus 1, which I could leave my answer like that, or I could times both sides by 4 to get rid of that awkward fraction. That's part A of the question done. Let's move to part B now. Right. We need to work out the exact area of R. So when I'm looking at R, I'm going to consider this triangle. And then I think that if I take away this area here, that's going to leave me with the shaded area R. So let's consider that triangle first of all. Remember that the coordinate of P was 4, 2. So I know the height of this triangle is 4. I can work out this coordinate here because that's where the tangent, which remember was y equals 1 quarter x plus 1, or 4y is x plus 4. That's where it intersects on the x-axis. So that's when y is 0. So if I plug that into the equation of the tangent, I find that x will be minus 4. So now I can see that the base of my triangle is 8. Therefore, the area is a half, 8 times 2 which is 8. So that's the area of the triangle. Now to work out the area underneath this curve. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be integrating from 0 to 4 the curve, which is the square root of x, or x to the power of 1 half. So, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so 
substitute the 4 in. And then substitute the 0 in. And take them away. So that's going to give me uh, 16 over 3. Then the shaded region R then is the triangle. Take away the area under the curve. So the area of R is 8 over 